Bam. We are uh-huh. back. So real. We might. Back in effect. <laughs> back like crack. Back like crack. Crack ain't never left. Crack Nigga killed Applejack. Uh, he jumped in, but he couldn't jump back. I'm telling you. Oh, hey, smack. yeah. Hey, man, y'all already know, man. One more week, man. Views of the edge, man. Hope y'all enjoyed last week. What, right. Fellas, what is this? Week Week three? Uh, what is this? Three, three, yeah, three right? Yeah, week three, week man. Three, yeah, no doubt, man. I'm glad y'all, man, um, tuning in, man. Hope y'all enjoying um, us and views from the edge. And, and we definitely you know. appreciate the early feedback. Um, talk. Mm-hmm. The podcast charted last week already, so no, we yeah. appreciate the yeah, love. Yeah. We appreciate the support. We, we top 20? Is it top 20? I forgot what it was, but the chart is sure. Probably, 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 t- t- probably top five, baby. That's all that matter, man. Top we'll get five. there. Whatever yeah, that is, we'll get there. Saying, you know? long as it's just, hey, long as it's just on top. <laughs> on top, <laughs> baby. That's Not the bottom. Right. On the top. <laughs> all we do is win. All we do is win, baby. <laughs> See Views from the edge. Piss excellence. <laughs> Piss excellence. No doubt. Yeah, so, man, again, like I say, we just want to thank y'all for coming back one more week with us, man. We love y'all to death and tune in every week, every, you know what I'm saying, every, well, it's going to be aired every Monday. Right, you know every, Monday. Every, every Monday. Every Monday. Yeah, check us out, yeah. and um, y'all already know what's going on, man. So. And still look out, like we keep telling y'all week to week, look out for the new project. New project. If you don't have the uh-huh. the project that's out right now, a Jagged Love Story, check that out. Please, mm-hmm. please, um, please. And please. look out for the radio jagged, show coming back, If you ain't back, got too. a uh, um, Jagged Edge, the layover, check that out. Please, please. Right. please. <laughs> if you ain't got Jagged Edge, little thunder. I'm telling you. Check that out. You ain't got hard. You ain't got Yeah, man. Man. But what, 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 what we got going on this week, fellas? First up, in hold the up, hold up, hold up. Before we get started, we got to welcome BG back to the right. show. BG, what's up? He was out here balling last week, man. He was out there fucking off with Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, I, I seen him. Oh, yeah. I seen him, BG. So we got to send him a shout out. I know bring, some, right. bring some of that cash back to views, man. I know man. that, right. right. Show you right. Appreciate right. that. Right. Appreciate that, fellas, man. I'm glad to be back. First up in the latest views, of course, is this segment where we talk about things we heard in the previous week, trending topics or whatnot. We got the Los Angeles Police Department is conducting an internal affairs investigation after it was discovered that the photo of George Floyd with the caption, you take my breath away, was being shared by officers in a Valentine's Day card. Are you serious, man? This is the LAPD. Y'all, I know we talk about these black topics every week, yeah, but yeah, yeah. this is what's going on. Right and, into it. I mean, it's this it's, is America. It's, it's not surprising when you this when you look America. at the long documented on, history on. This is America. of the LA, LAPD. <laughs> <laughs> when you look at the long documented history of the LAPD being a corrupt organization, yeah, and and some people even call them you know a gang, just mm-hmm. like the rest of the gangs in LA. Wow. I mean, it's not that surprising. It's fucked up, but it's not yeah. that surprising, yeah. bro. Yeah. You know, yeah. what I, mean? Right. Right. I mean, again, you know, I, it's things like this. To show us who people really are, and I'm a fan of you showing me who you are. I'm, I'm telling right. you, I'm too. That a I'm times. telling you, I'm a fan of you yes. showing me who right. you really so are. So I know how to deal. So I know how I to maneuver. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hey, baby, hey, 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 just like Brian said, it's like it's it's getting to the point to where don't nothing really surprise you no more. I can't tell you, 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 you kind of gotta like embrace yourself to mm-hmm. what's about to happen for the next day. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, for our own people doing stuff to our own people, mm-hmm. for the government doing stuff to our people. Mm-hmm. Man, you gotta stay prayed up, man. Yeah. And it's just like you know, the, the, it's just like the comment last week we talked about as far as Kobe. When people do shit like that, it's like you ain't got no feeling for when they family see this, right. how that's going hurt them and, and bring everything back up and make exactly. them feel even worse. You know, right. They might have just been kind of getting over these situations and you bring them back up in such a negative w- way like that, bro. That's fucked up. Yeah. You know what I mean? It is, man. It is. Check um, yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. yourself. Ice Cube. I want to say, man, I, I think it's important that we don't let ourselves become numb. We do hear this shit every week. No doubt. But that's, I think it's also negative why we get numb to it. Somebody gets shot in the street, it's just like, oh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's no, crazy. we can't be like that. We got to keep being mad yeah. about no, it. No, I mean, I mean, about it. you know what I mean? Indifference that's can true. be negative at times. You know what I mean? When it's a point in time where you should give it down, then that's when it's negative. You know and, I mean? and, I, and I think, I mean, to, to your point, though, I mean, we all come up as young black men. First of all, it ain't too, I can't stand when people say, oh, he ain't from the hood. It ain't too many niggas that ain't from the hood. Right. Right. It ain't none of us just coming from Right. It ain't none of us just coming from no generational wealth. So we all coming from the hood. (laughs) And we all come up seeing enough of our homeboys pass and even brothers who may not be our homeboys, but we knew pass away and get locked up and get, you know, put in these unfair situations. And it's like you do get a little numb. But like you said, that's what we gotta fight against, man. Every life means something. Every uh, listen, every life in general, but to me definitely every black life means something. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, real talk. Next up, 
after his very first win as Jackson State's head football coach, uh, Deion Sanders. Deion. Come on, bro. Deion. Hey, what they talking about, bro? Deion <laughs> reveals that his personal items were stolen during the game. Wow. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Check that out. I ain't see that part. Good yeah, Lord. I heard that. <laughs> For real, The man. items have since been returned, mm. but... At the way that things panned out, they know that it was an inside job. It had wow. to be. It they had to who be. It was How you going to steal from Prime? Somebody ain't getting the playing time. They're like, I got you, coach. I got you, coach. I got you. I literally got you, coach. I got you, coach. Or again, you talking about college kid. It could have been a prank. It could have yeah, been. I mean, I mean, somebody prank. say, hey, I bet you won't steal. Yeah. <laughs> a prank that went wrong. A prank went wrong. Prime time ain't fast as it used to be. You That's a laugh. That's a good wow. one. That's, crazy. That's a good one. A six figure prank ain't that funny. Bro. You're right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Six figures? He gets yeah. some hella shit in there. Yeah. What? Why, coach? Mm. Why, coach? <laughs> <laughs> well, be coaching. I'm trying to get a kid, you know, Jack and that little inspiration. Kid. Yeah. Jack and trying to get a kid some inspiration. Always, you know? always. I was trying to give him a little bit of the doubt. I know that, <laughs> right? But Go damn. On. Deep into the Dion, what y'all think his angle is? Do y'all think he's really trying to bring light to the black? Uh, schools, you think he's of course. just building it up so he can go to a bigger division? What you think he got going on yeah, with man, this move I, of a uh, coach? I, I, I think his both. first move, I think he got to get his feet wet. Mm-hmm. I think you know think it serves as a um, you know as a experience you know st- uh, teaching grounds as well as right. a promotion, absolutely uh, promotional tool, I should say. You know, as if, if you do a good job, all the other schools see it. Yeah. Yes. So you yes. know, it becomes your promotional tool, right? Yeah. But it's just like um, any other time you hear about a story of a. Uh, a popular black figure or athlete or entertainer, singer, rapper, going back to the hood and letting people see how tangible it is when you can touch that person. You yeah. say, I really, if this dude stand in front of me, you see everything he did, I can do that. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. And I know I felt like that certain times in my life when I met certain people, when I met, you know, Magic Johnson or, or the brothers from New Edition. Sydney Portier. Sydney, you know what I mean? Sydney right. Portier. You know what I'm saying? So it, I know for a fact, it definitely makes you shit be like, shit, I can do this too. Right, you know right, what I right, mean? Right, so, right. Right. Yeah, man. I met Sydney Portier and I was like 13, man. Wow. And that, it, 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 it True. You Life know changing. I mean? It blew my mind. I mean, to this day, I still, th- I, because you know, what you don't realize about Sydney, Sydney Portier, like six two. Yeah, wow. he's a big, tall dude. Wow. Like so, I just remember as a kid, I'm just looking up at like Sydney Portier, like, right? Sydney Portier, <laughs> Sydney Portier, and, and you know, Portier. I think like he said, it just make you feel like, damn, you know, this is a real person. I can, I can achieve some shit because. This is a real dude. Yeah, yeah. I think he's modeling the right thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'm glad you know he's changing the game. Hopefully, black schools will get the attention, the no funding. Yeah. You know what I mean that they yeah. deserve. He's a smart yeah. guy, so I think he he he'll be good. Mm-hmm. They, yeah, prime definitely good with the business. Next up, another kind of sad one. An Indiana woman will receive a two hundred thousand dollars settlement after giving birth alone in a Kentucky jail cell. Wow. Her attorney reported that she cut the umbilical cord with her teeth. Jesus. Before climbing into her mattress to protect her baby. The county right. is holding their ground saying that they did absolutely nothing wrong. How did you do nothing wrong? Right. I mean, did you not know she was pregnant? <laughs> right. Did you not know at some oh, she point? She was showing. Right. I mean, no, of course she was showing. You By know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. So, like, that's, so that's, how did that's you do that's that wrong? Anything. Did you not know at some point she would need some assistance? Like, right. that's crazy, right. bro. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. It's, People just don't give two shits, bro. Right. No, like, you know, I think we're seeing more and more. You know, um, when it comes to the the the, the public servants, mm-hmm. yeah. um, I don't know it. if it's speak because they it. feel like they be that, that they're they're so berated most of the time, or if it's just uh, you know uh, the effect of seeing so much bullshit all the time that right. you become numb. But right. I feel like we seeing with the public servants a lot where it's just right. a right. I really don't give a damn attitude. Right, right. And I think you know honestly, it's 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 yeah. First and foremost, to a lot of people, it's a paycheck. You know what I mean? Right. But Bingo. when you choose to serve, that's what you got to do. And you got to take the ego out of it. And you got to right. take the feelings out of it and, and be a servant for whatever that job is that you do. Hey, 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 and, and, and to add to what Brandon is saying, I mean, I'm, I'm no stranger to danger. You know what I'm saying? I've been <laughs> locked up a few times. And I remember I was getting locked up. And it wasn't like I was asking for any special attention. I was humble. I'm locked up, so the only thing I can right. be at this point it's is humble. Mm-hmm. And so the girl, they were like, "Oh, no, no the girl, they don't. Oh, that Jay, I don't give a fuck who he is." <laughs> that, that what the girl said. I don't give a fuck who that broke nigga is. And um, I said, "Well, damn." I mean, I mean, I mean the way she said, <laughs> "What I'm I like, do to you?" I, I, I didn't do nothing to her. I mean, I'm locked up. There's nothing I can do to you. And just like you said, I mean, 
I got back with her ass because I'm. What's gonna let that go? What's gonna let that go? Hey, hey, hey! I couldn't because I didn't do anything to her. Right, right, but, right. But, for but, her to even come at you like right, that. Right. For her even come at me. there to serve you. And but she was there to serve me. But let me tell you something. It took a lot for me to understand that she's there for a job, mm -hmm. and it's it's in my head that I ran out space thinking that she was there to for you for for me. Right. I should have known, like, this girl don't care nothing about me for even to, to have uh, 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 an attention to how she treated me. But, but, but. But she is there for But, but. She is there for And I don't mean to cut you off. But, 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 Hey, he from Jagged Edge. You right. know what I'm saying? And he not he might not have been saying it like, oh, you know, like showing special you, treat. Right. Just, show him a special right. treat. But that's, that's she took it. it. Yeah. She yeah. took it as that. She took it, yeah. she took it as like, oh, show this nigga special treat, right. man. Right. Let this nigga do No. That ain't what man. I saw. No, that, 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 that is how I felt. No, but, 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 but no, but guess what? I'm, I'm saying to say this. I had to sleep on my back and just know that how certain people are yeah. in life. To where if I be hung up knowing that, first of all, I'm in jail. A lot of females do get dis, you know, disrespected in there. And so it's kind of hard to pull certain days. I mean, Monday ain't Tuesday, Tuesday yeah. ain't Wednesday. Yeah. And right. so if a dude rub you the wrong way on, on one tier and you come and see me on another tier, like, let that girl just say, I don't give a fuck. You know what? But see, my, th and my thing is, I've always, I've always been like, wow. you know, when people go around, because my father, he loved, he loved it. But I had a couple of friends who do it just kind of jokingly back in the day. Mm. Oh, yeah, hey, this my boy Jack there. You know, right, right. you know who this is? Right. You know, stuff like that. And, and it kind of, you know, put a little bad taste in my mouth because I never want, no, I'm a one person don't wear it on my forehead. Like, right. you know me, me, right, me too. Right, you right. know you what I'm saying? Me, like, right, I, right, you know, too. whatever. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't want nobody to put me in a position to where somebody could come at me like that. Right, you see what I'm saying? Right, because now right. we we ain't in jail. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? We yeah. in public. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull your ass across that counter. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, for, for for the disrespect. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's like <laughs> you ain't gotta come at me like that. Like first of all, I didn't say it. Right. Somebody right. else. Was, Somebody was, else was, right. was doing it. Like you know what I mean? So yeah. again, it's just you know. But, but I think I, I totally it's it's it. it's crazy too. Though. I mean. You know, just like you can work at Popeyes and hate your job, you can work as a public servant and hate your hate job. Your job right. Right. But the difference is, is somebody in that public is suffering for you hating your job, like right. that woman Facts. who had to cut her, her own baby umbilical cord with her right. teeth. Facts. Like that should happen to a homeless person, let alone somebody who got people around Facts. them who should be checking right. in on shit like right. that. You know what I mean? That shit right. crazy, man. Yeah. The thing I want, two things I want to highlight from that story: just the the survival instinct of the black woman, who right. I can arguably right. say is the strongest. Creature, it's you know, not arguable. It, but it's the, it's facts. You know, yeah. Nobody's been through what we've been through, bro. Right, right, right. right. A thing that I have a personal problem with is America or society. Whenever they know they done done wrong, just throwing money at a problem, man. And <laughs> here, two hundred k, which ain't shit. Let me, right. Hold up, bro. You know, I got, I got to bring. So up. then, okay. So you, do you? Would you prefer they don't do nothing? No, I do. That's want why. That's why it's usually resulted to money. Because it's like, what else can I do for you? You know what else can? Because even we, if we're talking about most of the things I can serve you with, it's gonna take some money to do those things. Right. Whatever it is that you might need, nine times out of ten gonna take right. money. Right. So okay, that's why look, we usually result look, in getting. It's, money. it's crazy I'm, I'm you said that though, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back. Brian. It's crazy you said it. Right? I was looking at the scripture today, and we bring this all the time when we teach the Bible. Right? It says Ecclesiastes seven and seven. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, but then it goes on to say, and a gift destroyeth the heart. And that's just saying that when you, when we get mad, when we know that we've been treated, you know, unjust, and you just give us a little something, we, you know, we, we can be simple enough to be like, okay, cool, let's forget about that. But but the Bible said that's a wicked thing to do. You know what I'm so saying? Then, so then, like I said, so then you would prefer that they don't do shit for you. No, I'm I mean, saying just, that you just it, can't let it change your point of view. It's still <laughs> fucked up, no matter what they give you after they yeah, treat you. Yeah, nobody said right. I didn't even say about right. changing so the point saying, of no, view. I, I, mean, I yeah. said you usually resolve the situation because the, the only result, the last result is money because usually anything else that you need in terms of a service is going to result in having to spend some money. Yeah, I, feel you. I, yeah, feel I get I get both points because basically what he's saying is like a lot of times their, their, their whatever... Uh, appeasement. It's just them appe appeasing appe us. You know what right. I'm saying? Their, their motive for, for giving you money is like, okay, I hope he... Let this shit go and don't don't think yeah, about it. No get it off my right, conscience. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> but at the end of the day, again, that's why I said, what is the alternative? alternative. And the alternative is to do nothing for you. Right. right you know right, what right. I'm saying? So I want the money and I want your ass to go to jail. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, my, my You're a good lawyer. <laughs> it, it, 
my <laughs> argument is that if you look at the resolution in a pie graph, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think that money can be that whole pie. Right. right I right, think right, that right. money can be ninety percent, or but but there has to be another um, medium applied yeah. besides yeah. money because they printing money. Money don't really mean yeah, shit. Right. Y'all know right, that, right? right of course, right. get shit done though. Right, That's true. That's I mean, true. Money gets shit done. The bottom line is, and money will allow you to vindicate in whatever way that you choose. You know what I mean? You might want to build a true. damn memorial. It allows so you to appease yourself. The right yourself. amount of money will <laughs> okay. allow you to do that. You know okay. what I'm saying? It, yeah, it allows you to, 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 you know, be able to make some sort of sense out of it, I guess. But Absolutely. like I said, uh, I just feel like at the same time, you know, that's why we never get, why we never stop getting treated unjustly, because they feel like they can throw some money at the problem, and oh, them niggas will be alright. Don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, that's what happens over and over. Even when you talk about things like reparations, bingo. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want the reparations. I want, I want, I want the right, the right payment. I ain't gonna say it on here, but the right payment ain't got nothing to do with no money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, that's I, all I'm gonna say. You know see, what I'm saying? Again, then, then you talking about doing things to people who ain't did nothing to you. No, who well, ain't did nothing, period. Really, the, the true injustices was have been done for the last, for hundreds and hundreds of years preceding our time. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you can't bring them people back and, and charge them with something and then punish them with something. Well, see, so that means if you're if you going to charge their their offspring with something, they ain't not necessarily guilty for nothing. Well, see, Jews are still being paid from the Holocaust today. To the, today. Yeah, you should be paid. Repar billions of dollars every paid. year. He said, but he was saying it's aside from being paid. No, what, Meaning because what I'm saying is. Some punishment. Right, because what, but what I'm saying is, and, and see, and it's the, the fine line to walk on this podcast for me sometimes, right, is that I do want to address this with the way the Bible say, because I understand that most people don't understand that that's what seems like the radical solution, but that's what God said. God said prepare iniquity, prepare, um, 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 what's the word I'm looking for, not iniquity, prepare, um, mm -mm, um, slaughter, <laughs> prepare slaughter for the Throw iniquity, for the iniquity of their forefathers. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says you do pay them back. Because the Bible also says when that. God tell you to. But, yes, he did. Yeah, 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 yes, that's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> and, yeah, absolutely. I'm not saying nobody go out here and be exactly. rogue and do it your and, own and way. That's why but that's when you want to deal with it the right way, that, that payback, like us, right? We got charged as a nation. We didn't get charged individually, right? Christ was in, was in, was in, was in um, captivity. All the prophets was in captivity. They was all slaves. Okay. So how can, if, if those are the righteous men in the world, right, King Solomon, all these different people, these are the righteous men in the world, right, and they still got treated like the most wicked niggas of the nation, then that lets you know God judges in, in, by nation. So their nation, their these people that's who commit God these crimes, their na that's yeah, but how does, does, okay, so how does God, how does God exact God. his judgment? Through people. God don't come and when, step foot when, on the earth and do God nothing. God says, and when who, God says, we're not says, talking about God, a timeline. I already said comes. we're not talking about a timeline. I never said nothing about us doing it. Mm -hmm. I said I know what the what the solution is, and I'm not even going to talk about it. So we're not talking about a timeline. It's definitely going to happen in God's time. But my point is, people don't understand that. Yes, our forefathers. We are our forefathers. Mm -hmm. We we get we got paid and punished for the things that we did generations ago. We're still paying for it. Absolutely, and it's and it's a just punishment. This where we at right now. This is our prison sentence. You see what I'm saying? That's according to the Bible. So that's what I said. So I walked that line when being on this podcast because I want I understand they they may not want to deal with it in the way that I want to deal with it or see it the way that I see it. But sometimes when you bring up certain things, I gotta address what what the words say about it. You know what I mean? I, know, I am mad at that. Right. One last I hate to just ride this one out, but one last thing about it. My frustration is that um. When a when a when an elite, a political elite, let's say a judge or a politician, when they get in trouble and get caught even red handed, not just specifically this case, but they get caught doing something red handed, they're always you notice they're always allowed to resign. It's never you terminate it, get your ass out of here, it's mm -hmm. resign now so that you can do what? Yeah, so you can get another job. The same job absolutely. in another state as another state, absolutely. That ain't <laughs> right. That's not purpose. coincidence. That's on purpose yeah, 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 yeah. with intent. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of rules on purpose before we before we. Bro, I mean, it's, it, we can go down there. The, the That's what systemic <laughs> means, bro. It's it's, it's 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 woven into the fabric it's of our right. laws, right. into the fabric yeah. of our society. Right. right. And it was decided a long time ago that white supremacy would be, you know, perpetrated. A, Throughout the whole earth, right, and that's and they've kept that little. They call you know whatever, whatever you call it, the good old boys or whatever you want to call it. They've kept that that fabric that's intact. Society intact. Period. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So it is, it is. Yeah. Let's get on, shall yes, we? Sir. Yes, sir. Getting deep in this thing, brother. No, it's necessary. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Necessary.
A high school football player who was seen video trash ta- video trash talking Cam Newton has apologized yeah, yeah, to absolutely. the 2015 NFL Most Valuable Player. Um, Cam, in the argument, asked him where his father was. Uh-huh. Now, do we right think question. he was jabbing at this young man, or was he being serious and wanted no, to talk to him? Yeah, I hear what no, he said. It, he said, started, where's your father? I want to I want to talk to him. Yeah, I want right. to have a conversation right. with him. Because it starts Absolutely at home. Absolutely the right question. It starts at home. It right. starts at home. But, and, no, but he's a grown man. Right. He wanted to talk to exactly. another adult. Exactly. Right. Which right. is what he exactly. should have been doing. Right. And Absolutely. it's the same thing we do when we, like, you know, when we out teaching, and sometimes women will come up, we'll say, where's your husband? Because we shouldn't be talking to that woman. You shouldn't be talking to somebody else's child the same way, like he said. Like, that's another man's child. But I will right. have this conversation with your dad on how you ended up being so disrespectful right. and hateful right. to your there people you who ain't done nothing but try to come out and show you some love. Exactly. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I think you asked the exact, the, the exact yeah. right yeah. question. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I, hey, hey, I probably would have lit this little ass. <laughs> <laughs> you little yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's the, <laughs> look, that's the first instinct. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, that's what as you get older, yeah. you got to override that's the first right. instinct. Right. Yeah, that first instinct had you ass in jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You jail say because you're paying. Yeah. Hell yeah, boy. So we, we, we applaud the way Cam handled that. You know what yep. I mean? Obviously, the mature route, the high road. Um, Tiger Woods undergoes surgery following a severe accident in L.A. Why does it seem like so many of our black greats uh, go down in this way? We're talking about Left Eye, Leah, Kobe. It's something about these accidents. It's something about the vehicles. Man, Is it coincidence? You, you, no. <laughs> it's not. It's the curses, man. The Bible said long we was doing these things and, and didn't know who he was and, and didn't keep the laws of God, this is the state we'd be in, bro. Like I said, like, and what's funny is I don't be want to bring this up week to week, but when you ask us certain things, it's the first thing that comes to my mind. These are the curses. You can't get out of the curses. Even when, when Christians teach about the curse of the law, they tell you that it's a, it's a curse to keep the law. No, what the curse of the law is talking about is you don't keep this law, then you, the curses are on you. Mm-hmm. The curses is, is death. The curses is financial ruin. The curses is captivity. The curses is me in jail. The curses is the, the diseases that's on our people. All these things is not no coincidence, bro. It's just what is what it is. Ty- I just believe in what the most high say. But are there Ty- any contra- Ty- I, it Ty- looks like there's some contrasting opinions. We want to hear them. Yeah, uh, uh, no, the, I mean, the, the, Ty- well, he, the part the only part he leave out is that that's what it says for Hebrew Israelites. If you Hebrew No, that's now, not what yeah. Now we, but well, our the, people the, are the his, part, Hebrew Israelites the part, though. The part that <laughs> the part that, that we always kind of me and him bump heads on is just the twelve tribes chart and a lot of scholars don't believe the 12 the tribe the 12 tribe charts means what they believe okay it means. so let's let's so examine the word scholars the theology on this let's examine you know the word so scholars him, scholars you talking about white men who tell you that, that what they say is right but, but these see, are these are same people that taught us lies though these take too long yeah, these, they, but do. these are same people that taught us the lies in the first place right why why we think the same people that taught us lies and taught us that we ain't the children of god that we ain't the hebrew Israelites, that they would tell us some truths in there they don't these are the same people that tell us that we're not the people that the Bible say we are. The Bible says that these curses, the things that the position that we in, would be the 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 the, the way you understand who the Israelites are. <laughs> they, but these no these curses ain't on nobody but us. Mm-hmm. Nobody's in the same condition all throughout the world like we are. The Bible tells you that would be a sign and a marker of who you are to the end of your days. That's how you know who we you are. Do this right. Actually, hey, so, so, actually so, 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 I could do it. I could do it. This, take, this conversation takes forever. Me and him used to go do this conversation two, three hours at a time. Hey, so I can I, tell I, you, I, I, my, my, listen, if I engage like listen, I want to, it's going to take I believe in the hours. Bible. I don't care who. <laughs> it don't matter. I, I believe in the Bible. Hey, so we're hey, going to just let this play. Hey, but, but, one I mean, thing about it is know your truth and. The answer to the question about Tiger is really this: Tiger was driving too damn fast. Thank you. We're going that early well, that's morning not what he on the on the way on the way to the fo- on, on the way to a photo shoot with uh with one, another football player or something, whatever, and 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 caught the, and caught that curve and flipped the car, and they say broke both his legs and, and some certain. Do you guys remember what we found out the last time Tiger was in an accident? <laughs> it was drunk. Right. Well, he, no, 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 no,
he was cheating. Drunk. We we can listen. Right, right. We can, yeah, we can address that but, term but, cheating but, but too. I'm asking, <laughs> but I'm asking for this time he was on meds when he. Oh. No, 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 no. They did a toxicology, and, and first of all, when they when they found him, he was alert and he was, you know, what I'm saying like he. I think he even tried to try to get himself out, but he didn't know how severely the damages was. Mm. But his, both his legs were broken in like a couple of places, and the bone didn't do this. I, I watched on. I watched Doctor Oz. They, 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 they had skin, a, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. One no, a piece did poke through the skin. Good lord. And then, but it was just a piece, and but like oh, just a piece. That's a little. No, I'm just saying, but I, there's a little piece of your bone. <laughs> a little piece of my bone. Yeah. But, I, but I'm just saying, piece. little bone marrow. You don't need that. Don't but need I'm just that. Saying, Put it back. You, you know, Tiger got the best doctors in the world, and all that. They they took Trent, him in, in, in emergency surgery. They took him to surgery when he got in. But they say it might be like a year, a year and a half. But see what it is. They say Alex Smith just had that same injury mm, or whatever, he did, and yeah. he came back and he's good. But but again, it took him a few surgeries too. Yeah, a lot yeah, of, yeah. Okay, oh, no, but look, but look though, because you you got I got I want to ask them a couple questions, right? Let's get it. Like. Do we do we believe that coincidence is real? Do you believe in coincidence? Yeah. Okay. So do you believe in in the word prophecy? Yeah. Okay. So if prophecy is real, right? I'm going to tell you why I'm asking that. Because if prophecy is real, then that means things like free will can't be real. Which means coincidence ain't real. I, 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 I'm, I'm you understand like, what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm, Just I'm follow like, me for a second, right? If If free will is real, then you can't prophesy what's going to happen down the line. Because that means it could take any turn. If you can prophesy, which the Bible has done on, on, during, I'm talking about the, the fall of every kingdom is prophesied in the Bible, right? So if you can prophesy it, that means what? That means there's somebody pulling the strings and there's no such thing as free will. Because that means somewhere it will veer off the track. Yeah. Very so, hard to argue when you put it like that. You see what I'm saying? But the Bible so, speaks so, about things specifically. What do you mean? That doesn't mean there ain't no free will in between. No, the Bible. T- no, the Bible tells you that, that, the, that the Bible's No, the Bible tells you free will is an illusion. Come to, free will is an illusion. I'll tell you that. It's it's about the way we viewing things in this third dimension, if you will. Is is that's the illusion of free will? You thinking that you got some say over it, right? Uh, so <laughs> if you ain't got no say over it, shit out of here right now. I ain't got no say in that. No, I want to see. Already decided that's what you was gonna do. Won't you snap the shit out of us? I just want to know is that what we said? It was written. Yes, yes. Listen, but snap the shit out of us. I'm finna start fine off on niggas. It ain't even my fault. Fuck. Okay, it was already. This shit was already written. So you don't think finna walk around knocking the shit out of me? And you don't. Think that's gonna have a result so, hey, that, that's already written too? Mm-hmm. If, even if that's the path, the path you take, that's the result that was written for you to to, to receive too for doing that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So so, but it wasn't my choice to do that. No, it's an illusion. So I'm trying to <laughs> listen. How can God tell you He know how this all going to end if you got a choice in the matter? <laughs> you know what I'm saying easy. Cause he gonna wrap it up in the end when he no, ready. No. He's gonna wrap it up like, hey, it's I can a wrap. Say cut. It's, it's, it's a wrap. It's, it's so it's many a wrap steps. Jacket, just it's, it's, it's so many <laughs> steps on the way to the end that gotta happen. So it can't be simple as just wrapping it up in the end. Why it's so many. It's Why so many steps. Cause it's so many powerful. steps Why that's gonna be? determine Why what can't? the end is. I don't believe that. Well, if you're all powerful, then why can't he all direct your every step then? He can't. I didn't say he can't. I said, are you telling me that? So you're telling me when I do something, it's nothing, it's nothing I do is it's for, it's free will. Yes, that's what that's I'm telling crazy. you. I don't care if you ate a bowl of Cheerios before you came over. That's it wasn't crazy, free will. <laughs> it's just not. I, 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 I just think it's just hella deep, dog. You know, sometimes <laughs> it's it What's, too Why is it too deep, deep though? Go deep that's part of, our, deep, that's deep, part of deep, our, our people problems sometimes. What? what why we don't want to deal with what's deep? What what's real? About you know that, what I'm saying? Man. Why it ain't? This it's, it's one show. This, this show one, is this, this show. one segment of one show, right? I think this. We <laughs> I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm just BG, I mean, but I, I think it's necessary. And also, guys, I I have other peers, you know what I mean, who are in their journey. You mm-hmm. know that I see similar to what I see Brian going through, and and they have changed from what I know them to be. Mm-hmm. Um, my observation is that I don't even want to get too deep, but from what I see, man, the the, the raw truth is scary. Mm-hmm. And a, is. a lot of us choose so. to walk in, just <laughs> keep on going with life how we know how it. We because know it. when you exactly. when you do enter some of that deep shit in that raw truth. Tell me this. You, you if it's already predetermined that something's going to happen at the end of time, so what are we actually doing to contribute to that? If it's already predetermined. Listen, okay. I'm so just asking a question. Right, right, right. I ain't claiming I know that. I'm saying, listen, I'm can somebody you. say, and, and definitively, like, mm-hmm. with, a, with a for sure answer. Listen, depends, first of all, it depends on what you believe. If you believe in God, and you believe that God communicated 
to us through one way, which is the Bible. It's the only way, that's the only way that God has communicated anything to us and left us a piece of himself, right? If you believe that, the Bible says that it's almost like we in God's movie. God said the whole world is made for him, right? Mm -hmm. It's made for our sakes, but it's made for him, right? So that means that the way this is playing out, you talking about, first of all, think about it like this, right? You talking about a being who's been here f from the beginning of time. That's, that's why the Bible says that one day to the Lord is a thousand days to us, a thousand years to us, right? So when you think about it like that. There is no time you think about it, it like and that. No, what, what the Bible <laughs> said, the earth is 12,000 years old, right? So even all that stuff about, and all the, you know, the scientists tell you about this and that, the Bible said that the, the wisdom of this world is foolishness under God. Just saying that all these scientists are going to give you what? Theories. What's a theory? It's just a, it's what they think. There's nothing factual about any theory. The theory of relativity, like even Yo, when you see, science. right, when you when you see these UFOs pop up on the news and so stuff, you always hear somebody that, saying. Is it not stuff that can't be proven in the Bible? What do you mean? Can't be proven without a shadow of a doubt. Are there not things, uh, people, even places that can't be proven in the Bible? Like well, somebody can prove it definitively to be factual. Well, first of all, that's the thing about it. That's what I'm saying, that any theory is still just a theory. <laughs> Exactly. It's, but there's, you, there's, but it's really, in a sense, there is no such thing as a fact in a sense, right? Ain't of the Bible. You just said towards those people, it's just a theory as if it was condemnation towards them. But when it comes towards what you're saying are beliefs that come from scholars of the Bible, it's just, it's kind of matter of factly. But you were just kind of pointing out towards them I don't in a more condemning way. I don't understand what you're saying. Did you, <clears throat> let's, I'm going to close it out with... with Something that's a little on topic. Uh, for some reason, <laughs> you start. <laughs> that's why I say you don't get into exactly. it. Exactly. You can't yeah, yeah, turn go. left once you start like yeah. that. You can't. Well, listen. You can't listen. I'm going to tell you what you can do. Jump you you can scratch like this whole goddamn week's podcast if you want. It don't matter to me. I'm just <laughs> nah, telling nah, you, nah, when nah, you nah, ask nah, me certain questions, what's going to come into my mind? The, nah, we ask for organic. We ask for raw. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We, and we, that, and that's we want it because I think you can have an opinion. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. That, that can be based in what you read or believe, right. or, or, right. or 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 you know whatever that, the text but, of the Bible. But that's why but I reformed the question to y'all. Right. But that's you why I reformed the question to y'all. Right. 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 Without right. quoting sources, do you believe? Idiot. That's why I you said, do you believe I mean, in prophecy? Because if you do that, then you make it a more textual type of conversation. But that's why I asked, do you believe in prophecy? Do you believe in coincidence? I believe. I believe. It's perspective. I believe. I believe in prophecy, but I believe in Jesus Christ. And I'm. And I don't. Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? The dispensation of grace. I just want to finish. What does that mean? I just want to finish. What does that mean? I'm gonna show you. I just want to finish. I just want to finish. What is the dispensation of grace? I just want to Hebrew. I just want to grace. Honestly, just meant that you wouldn't get put to death on the spot no more. If you go back to the Old Testament, people would say certain things, and God would literally open up the ground and shut that shit right behind them. That's what grace meant. You weren't gonna get put to death. I, I just respect. I just want to know. You still got to pay for your sin. My opinion is this: <laughs> you know what I'm I believe in Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because at the end of the day, I believe I, I, I'm a firm believer in what the Bible says, right? right, right. And I'm, I'm I don't believe in religion anymore. I'm not I'm a non-denomination or whatever, 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 whatever you want to call it. Right, right. But what I'm saying is this: It's our heritage. I, I, I believe I believe <laughs> in in Jesus Christ because I you know what I'm saying like He's shown me. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I've I've mm -hmm. asked for something. And I prayed about it, and it and showed he, up. And, he, and, it, and it showed up. Now I could have asked for it and hoped and this and that, but I actually prayed and said, "God, would you please, you know, what I'm saying like, you know, was sincere in my prayer and all that." And guess what? He did it for me. So at the end of the day, See, he shown me that. So that's 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 what that's what my truth. Okay. Lies. So, but what you and said is it. Jesus Christ, right? right. 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 But the scriptures say that the, the spirit of pro prophecy is the testimony of Jesus Christ. Meaning, if you believe in Christ, you got to believe in prophecy. Oh, yeah, that's what I, what I do. Uh, but, but, <laughs> but also, I but also give me some prophecy too, baby. Also, what I feel like, what <laughs> I feel get, like, let me get prophecy and find out. Give me a little cup of prophecy too. <laughs> what I feel like a big part of of, of certain scholarly uh, brothers are missing is that the Bible say you can only receive Christ through Spirit and truth. Absolutely. And a lot of these people leave the Spirit part out. Yeah. And, I, and and when it comes to when I and when it comes to 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 transformation of spirit in terms of in us. Number one, the Holy Spirit is how you is is how you reach that transformation. Uh -huh. It's how you understand the Bible. Mm -hmm. It's how you understand where the, the 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 different ways that your walk should change. And it's the way that you learn how to accept it. It's the way that you learn how to understand that 
is necessary and the things that are essential and the things that ain't, things that are conjecture in terms of what people think are necessary and the things that aren't. Okay. And so when you when you studying especially especially not just the Bible, any religious text, the the Apocrypha, the Bible, the Torah, which is you know the first books of the Bible. When you study, you if you're not if you're not studying those books with right. the, the spirit of the Holy Spirit, spirit right. agree, you, you don't even have the right understanding. Right. So let's so, so, so let's, right. right so let's go there for a second, right? The Bible tells you how you get the Holy Spirit. First off, first off, you got to repent first, right? Absolutely. What repent means is to do away with everything you've been taught. That's what real repentance is, right? So, so, so that's what it means, to do away with everything you've been taught, right? And then you got to understand this. When people talk about the spirit of Christ, it's, it, the Bible says, I, I, I bear them record they have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. Because the Bible shows you a different Christ than what we're taught. The Bible, Christ said, if my enemies, no. if my enemies have it not be that I reign over them, bring them before me and slay them before so, me. Look, 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 that's look, 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 Christ BG, said. Let BG talk, let BG talk. Hold on, hold on, That's not a different Christ than the Christ I was taught. Because I can see in the movie, The Ten Commandments, where Jesus run through the temple and turn the tables over. He addressed everybody in the Ten anger. Commandments. But. Everybody. Yeah, he kicked them out of that. So he kicked them out. And, and my point was, I mean, and, and, and the only point in making that point is that I saw from day one that, of course, there's more than one side to Christ. It's exactly. more than one side and to he was Pretty Everything radical. Right. Of course, he was yeah. pretty radical. Yeah. Of you know, and, and he was it's pretty all, about it's his not people. All just, just love. So, of course, yeah, it is. Let's, hold on, let's let's go, I'm gonna ask this, and I'm done with it. Right? Please for, promise me that. Right, right. I got you. Right, see, <laughs> so, you, so for man. the people who nah, don't listen, believe, man. though, right, that Christ is gonna come back and do things like kill a bunch of people, if, you gotta ask yourself. Even when you deal with movies like The Ten Commandments, what did God do? God see. killed a whole race of people for His people. Okay. So, so, so when Christ comes back, it's going to be a parallel to that. That was the first exodus when he killed the firstborn of Egypt, and then he killed the rest of them when he followed behind the Israelites into the Red Sea. When Christ comes, he's going to do the same thing. Why did, why did Moses do it? He did it for his people. Why Christ going to do it? For his people. It's not for everybody, hey, man. Hey, guess Period. what? And hey, guess what? They thought Noah was crazy as hell building Absolutely. that ark. Absolutely. Yeah. To the star rain. What did God do that? Hey, we're going to close it. We're going to close it. We're going to close it. I'm just playing. We're going to close it. Kyle, you got anything you want to close with? I'm going to let you close this one. Hell no. <laughs> there you go. And let's get on. There you go. Let's get on. Let's get on. I understand. We be doing this all the time. No, that's, that's no real. Doubt. That's no real. Doubt. No doubt. Listen, man. Listen, Check this out. Listen. But it's good to engage. It's good to engage. Listen, I know, I, I, know how, I know how lengthy these conversations are. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. What's wrong with it, though? Hey, hey, hey. Religion. We good. Hey, religion and politics, that's going to be a lengthy conversation. A lot of times, too. check it out, yeah. and it's not your religion, but go ahead. I hear LeBron you. James has been hinting around releasing his own compilation album. Mm. Let's get this on record right now on air. We recorded it and it's live. In the event he needs some R&B heat, boy, man, he stop, come on, man. Boy, is come Jay on, willing you know who's come on, on cuz that's hey, family. Man. First of all, that's our second cousin, right. all of like, our second like, cousins. Like, okay, like, okay, you know, some people know this, right? But LeBron is almost like my cousin for real. He, my, he real, my, my, my real cousin, <laughs> Eddie Jackson. What's up, Eddie? Uh, what my, up, real, Eddie? my real cousin, Eddie Jackson, was with Gloria James for umpteen, you know, a long time. Okay. So even though Eddie wasn't LeBron's real father, he was in that role for a long time. Mm -hmm. That's dope. And so, you know, when it comes to LeBron James, like, you know, he one of them dudes That's in my family. life. You can't say nothing bad I'm about Teddy. You know and guess <laughs> what? And you be better than that goddamn and, 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 guess, and guess who cool he called him first? Jagged edge. <laughs> he better. I promise he call. He gonna he call. Know it. Yeah, he know his day ones. Right? And the time of the year is the most. <laughs> I love that commercial. Yeah, so we ready to hear Je on that album. <laughs> LeBron, no you heard it here first. Last in this time. Last in his um latest views, guys. New York rapper Bobby Schmurda. 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 home. Schmurda. Is back. He's yeah, been released man. after doing a six year bid. Do y'all yeah. think he'll be able to come back in the rap game at the hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. He's he left stay solid. This man actually did more time, so his boy would get less. Right. Like, come on, man. Come like, on, it's man. nothing bad you could say. Like, yeah, it's nothing on his jacket. You no, got to no, 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 you, you you support. You got to show love. And, and, hey, hey, and, and hey, we ain't no exception. Hey, 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 love. hey, let me tell you something. I'm a down south cat <laughs> to the gold team. We know. But, but, but let me tell you something. I like race murder. Ray. Ray. I mean, I mean, not Ray. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, say Bobby. Bobby. See? see? That's all right. That's all right. But no, no, but hey, hey. Bobby Ray. Bobby, Bobby Ray. Ray. Make sure you edit that Ray. shit. Bobby Ray or Lewis. Let me Ray tell you something. I like the Smurder, brother. But no, no. For real, though. But hey, 
dude can really rap. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. So, so it's, it's it's not just about him just being silent, although yeah. that is one of the key points. But as an artist, dude can really rap. I just oh, heard what he did. He caught his way before going to jail. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, so no, yeah, the dude can. One thing. But even yeah. uh, even even the boy Roddy Rebel, he, he got a song out yeah, right now. That, that shit, that shit hard. And they, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And they say Quavo picked him up in a G4 man and took him straight to the studio. So Quavo and Bobby Schmurder, man, make sure y'all holler jacket if y'all need some need some action, man. We here, man. I'm on my A and R thing tonight. Shout out to him. Shout out to Kodak, man. Stay out, that motherfucker. That's right. Stay out. For real. Stay away and stay out. There you go. All right, so we're gonna do, man. We're gonna pay these bills real quick, and we're gonna come back with music and money. Yeah. We back with this music and money, man. Let's get straight into it. We want to tell the listeners the story of the process of how Jagged Edge went from a three member group with just Kyle and the Twins to a quartet. How was Wingo selected? Uh, did he have to audition? Did he just know the right person? Was he in the right place at the right time? I ain't gonna lie. Wingo turtleneck was so tight that he, he almost did. He almost did. We just wanted to free that. We just wanted to free that nigga that turtleneck. Hey, these niggas ain't. I Who gonna stand, free this nigga? I can't stand these. <laughs> Set him <laughs> free. <laughs> Give us <laughs> free. Man, I mean, we had on the whole cream. Uh, what was it? Polo, polo cream, he, cream, he, polo polo down. Down. the cream polo turtleneck, the cream jeans, the whole thing. Hey, hey, I swear he was gonna bust a blood vessel. No. <laughs> but it, but it's funny that you said it though, cause um, really like Kyle will tell you, man, you know he was our brother from another mother. You know right. he our, he our brother from 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 not out the womb. Damn you know right, I mean? from not in the womb. But I mean, yeah. so it's like from day one, us three was always inseparable. And that's just right. that's just the facts. My mama really look at him like a son. Yeah, My yeah. pops really look at him like a son. No, right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. So. As friends, we had our bond first. And then we kind of said, well, let's go ahead and put this thing together, right? right? So once we put it together, it was originally six of us. Six. Because it was a group called Take Six when we was young. And um, us all meeting in the church, we thought Take Six was the dopest vocalist it around. Was. And they were. We was going to be the hip hop Take Six. Absolutely. Yes, and, yeah. and they that were. going to be the wacky saying? shit. I'm right. Talk <laughs> <laughs> <I'm, I'm, I'm, laughs> so about, about ego. <laughs> <laughs> <Hello. laughs> so, so, but I mean, we, we, we kind of saw early on, you know, we had these long ass rehearsals and week after week, people just stopped showing up. And we looked up, it was just us and another guy named Al Geiger. Um, but Al was always older than the rest of us. Right, right. And it was times where us three would always be on one page. I'm talking about style wise, I'm yeah. talking about <laughs> attitudes and just energy. Us three always, and then we always had him who was on a different. Now, we loved him, though. Al was a real you know, he's a real oh, one. Don't get right, me. Right, it's, what it's, up, it's, Al? Right, it's not, yeah. not to knock Al. Al's a good dude. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. He's a real one. Right. But we always noticed his style and his, his point of view, his take on things was way different than us three. Yeah, yeah. So at a certain point, because he was a little older, he, he left the group to you know go to school and things like that for a while. And then, um, like I said, we had got our first deal in, in high school. And once that didn't work out, that's when I, Al kind of dipped out. Right. So after that, we was left trying to figure out what we're going to do now. We connected back with Michael Bivens team. And from that point, we realized they was going to give it to us, us three, but we still felt like we, we liked to have that, that three-part harmony when one person was singing. Right, right, right. So right. We, we, went, um, we asked our manager at the time, Kevin Wells, who he had in mind. And he was like, well, let's just do, you know, on the south side. Actually, he, said, he remind me of Kyle. Right, that was the first thing he said. <laughs> Actually, he, really, he reminded me of you, yep, Kyle. Yep, and Kyle said, what's his name? He said, Richard, Kyle said, I Kyle know that nigga. You know that nigga? I know that nigga. Ugly. What the ugly? So <laughs> from that point on, he first he sung on the phone, and uh-huh. we thought it was all right. Um, but then when he came down and sung in person, it was a lot better. But then, even so, we saw how they definitely did have something in common, where it's like, yeah, he do kind of favor Kyle a lot. Yeah. And from that point on, honestly, a lot of people thought it was two sets of twins because yeah, exactly. when we was younger, they definitely favored each other yeah. even more. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? We could have came out and said we're two sets of twins, but one right. day we're going to have to tell the truth. Right. So. <laughs> one yeah, day, yeah, yeah. we won't be lying and shit. shit. <laughs> That's what's up, man. People, people didn't know that yeah, one, man. Right. Right. <laughs> That's what's up. So it was talent and chemistry and timing. Oh, no absolutely. Doubt, no absolutely. Doubt, absolutely. All in a no cocktail. Purpose, man. Purpose, man. And, and, and predestined. Man. What God has for you can no man take hey. apart. No man. doubt. No doubt. Oh, oh, oh. So. Don't preach. Let's get into it. The second one from Music and Money. <laughs> Jagged Edge. Multi-platinum. Ten studio albums. Yeah. Sold out tours. Magazine covers. Wow. Sold out shows. But at what point in you all's career, and this answer can be different individually, mm-hmm. did you feel like Hey man, we we done made it. We finally made it. Wow. Was man. it after you got signed? Was it after your first album? Was it after a certain number of money hit your you, account? You know what's funny? It's like it's it, like I don't know for them, but for me it took things to keep reaffirming that. Yep. Mm-hmm. And one of the one of those things for me was um was Luther Vandross wanting to come on uh BT 106 in Park 
to say some things to us. Yes. And uh, when he got on there, he was just like, he was just like, you know, I'm, I love Jagged Edge. He's like, I'm a big fan of Jagged Edge. He's like, Jagged Edge, they, you know, they sing the right way. And when he said that shit, I'm like, man, I know my mama just seen this. No <laughs> right? So I'm thinking about I'm thinking about the way she was going to receive that comment. And it just, it made it even that much I more I just watched it with me. her again the other day, honestly, yeah, like, too. Yeah, man. Um, and also, too, I mean, like you said, it's different things. But I think also one night um, we met Prince. And him even, wow. first of all, he gave us so much I love. I should have said this shit. Right. He gave us so much love. And, you know, he had said something about his favorite song being the healing or something. And I was I'm like. A, if you ain't going to tell a story right, let me tell it. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. All right. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I ain't trying to cut him off. I'm just saying. <laughs> <I ain't trying laughs> to right. Look, look. I'm just saying. Okay. It's a more it's a more theatrical version. Okay. <laughs> theatrical. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt, baby. <laughs> ah, yeah, said it, baby. <laughs> right, so, said it. So, you know, Jagged Edge, after being on the road for several months, we, come into, we come into the city. The Velvet Room. And we went. Right. We go to hang out at this club called The Velvet Room. Um, Jermaine that. happened to be coming to that club that night. Jermaine hit us up and was like, I don't remember if he texted me or did he call my phone. I don't remember. But he was like, he was coming to the club and Prince was coming. When he got there, um, I guess the first person he talked to was Jermaine. Jermaine went and back, had a little conversation with Prince and then came back and said, hey, Prince, want to meet y'all. I thought it was lying. <laughs> me too. I thought it was lying. <laughs> so he said, uh, so, so he take us back there and I guess he didn't want to take everybody back. So he took me and Brian back. Mm hmm when we get back there, the first thing I see Prince, he just iced know, out. Iced everything. out. He got the whole new power generation <laughs> right. sitting. I mean, and, and this thing icier than we was. We was you. iced out. Okay. <laughs> so to this day, to this, to day, this right. day, to this so, day. So you know, we walk up to Prince. He like, hey man, how y'all doing, man? He was like, um, he, I don't remember exactly what he said, but I remember he said something like this. He was like, hey man, you know that song that y'all have called the Hill? He was like, he was like, I love that song. That's my favorite song. <laughs> I try to talk like he's like I love that song. I like your that's, prince. That's, 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 right. <laughs> John Kester, Not bad, like, bro. I love that song. That's that ain't my bad, man. I was like, I was, I was like, damn, that's your favorite song off the album. He was like, no, that's my favorite song out right, right now. now. I was like, whoa, right. whoa. So, so we, right. we, we, we was like, damn. <laughs> At least he, he listened to the album. He was like, no, j just period. period. Right now. He was like, you know just period. My favorite song right out now. right now. Right now. The healing. J E heartbreak. Y'all can but, you know, <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. but, but um, even you know, with that, like you said, it's different things for sure. But I think too, for me, it's moments like that. But also, um, the first time that you can walk into, I remember when we used to go in the malls, right. Once this happened to us, the first time it happened was Denver, Colorado. We walked to the mall and they chased us out there, bitch. <laughs> so yeah. once we found like out, walked in, walk, turned minutes, right, turn. ran, really we ran out because that's out how quick they was coming. You know what I'm saying? But once we did that one time, we would go in the malls, different cities on a regular, just see how quick we could fuck it up. And we never Jersey, failed. Jersey? You know what I'm saying? We used to have the security come and tell us, look, y'all got to go. Y'all got to go. It's yeah. too yeah. much yeah. of a disturbance. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm exactly. saying? Yeah. So it was moments like that. Yeah. I think the first time, even when we seen somebody cry from the stage, oh, yeah. like different things that I saw only yeah. happen for Michael Jackson, or, yeah. and we, now we see these things happen for us, and that's yeah. when it hit me. Like, man, we. And I remember yeah. my cousin called me one day too. He was like, "Man, remember how y'all used to look at Jodeci? That's, that's how people looking at y'all now. Right. And that's what blew oh, my mind. Now. Like, that's no kidding. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what blew my mind. Like, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, just like Brian said, like, man, the first time, man, I think, and we might have been, I don't know, overseas or over here. But man, we were singing Gotta Be, bro. Mm. And this girl literally couldn't, like her friends had to hold her up. Hold she her would up. just boo-hoo boo like <laughs> She had one friend on one on the right and one friend on the left. And she was just wailing. She was eyes closed, right. tears flowing, you know what I'm saying? Yes, and that, that was like confirmation for me, like, yeah, you know. Um, for, for me, man, I, I, and not to catch y'all way, Nate. What's, 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 what's the old dude named Casey Kasem? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we had that yeah, rocket, that right. rocking the, right. the rocking the Dick New Clark, Year's. New Year's. Yeah, yeah Dick Clark. Clark. Yeah, Dick Clark. New Year's Eve. Yeah, Dick yeah. Clark. Dick That's what yeah. And so um, he was coming by. He just started, hey, Jay, 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 Jay. I said, hey, man, can you just talk to my mama? Just, <laughs> just, just tell my mama, hey. And he stood. He was like, hey, how you doing? So, 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 I love In the that voice. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how you doing? No, 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 no. I love the guys. I would have walked. He hung up the phone. I mean, once I got the phone back from my mom, right. my mom said, you know that is? That dick <laughs> I've been knowing dick since I was going <laughs> to Hey, you so, know what's 
Go ahead, no, so, go, go but, but I, I was like, wow, you know, I mean, for this man to be around, right, right, and we right. on and his seeing show, everybody. see everybody. I mean, right. from my mom, you, right, right. you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Right. My mom, she's still a beautiful lady, but Absolutely. she ain't young as she was. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I mean, I was like, wow. And when, even when I got home, she was like, wow, 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 like, wow right? Y'all arrived. I would say another moment yeah, too. Yeah. I would say another moment too. Um, I remember we went to do Soul Train. For, I think it was like a third, second or third time doing it, but it was the first time Dom was actually there when we was there. Yeah. And he was talking to one of the reps from our company. And um, and they was like, Don, what you think? He's like, man, these are my guys. I love these guys. This is my favorite group. Yeah. So to hear Don Cornelius say that after me watching Soul Trusters, I was, you I'm know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, it, yes. it really tripped me out. Like, man, we we, we doing a little something. How you know about, what I'm well, saying? How about the time when we was about, <laughs> how about the time when we was about to perform on the Soul Train one the second time for right. Where the Party At? Right. Mm-hmm. And Gerald Levert came down to oh, the dressing yeah, to room. The room yeah. man. Listen, oh, man, yeah. Gerald Levert came down to the dressing room, right? And first, I guess he was trying to, you know, he was trying to relate with us a little bit, so he started smoking a little blunt with us. There you right? go. There you go. He was like, "Man, listen." He said, "Man, you know what, man?" Me, he said, "Hey, man, me and, me and my, my daddy, daddy. You know, me and my daddy, me and my we love daddy. y'all, man." He said, hey, "But daddy, he's like, daddy always said, why do you, why do you boy won't do no man, steps?" No, 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 no. He said, "Why the nigga won't blow no suits?" Suits, why they won't do no steps? I love them, man. Why the niggas won't blow no suits? Damn, man. But that was just to me, like, just to have. Jail Levert, come, come on. and tell us what Eddie Levert said. Yeah. Yes, it was it was a trip. Man. Came into awesome. our room like, like, hey man, I gotta talk to y'all <laughs> about this shit. Yeah, that's big. Yeah, yeah. That's big. yeah. yes. Uh, Let's keep it rolling with these wild cow wild cards. Come Whoa. with it. Yeah. We come back. With it. We back. Come we back. with it. So look, man, this is the segment yes. where, um, although it's called wild cow, anybody can answer these questions. As yes. y'all know, these are where the fans submit these they wildest craziest questions, and we yes. go ahead and shoot them at y'all. No doubt. So coming in straight from the hip, and we actually got. Uh, names and where they from this time. Oh, that's what's up. So check this out. Nice. Soraya from Germany sends in the question. She asked, if you were elected president, what are the first three things you would do? Uh. Mm. Rep- mm. Reparate. I'm just praying reparations. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not going I know that was coming. <laughs> that's some thought. Uh, right that sure is. Yeah, that's a, you know, because to me, you want to give a thoughtful answer. So yeah. <laughs> you, um, Give me the I first. Mean, give me instead okay. of three things. Give me the first one, one thing. thing. How about yeah, one yeah, thing okay. you'll do. I start off. I just went go. I start off. I tr- I would try my best, and I know it, it's 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 hard because people just want to live how they want to live. But I try my. I would try my best to end poverty. I like that. Yeah, I like um, that. Uh, I say, man, legalize and I advertise. <laughs> legalize and not advertise. That's the first. No, just like, like, blow one. Think, blow no, one. I think no. I think um the first thing we probably should do. Is make sure that 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 our military, you know what I mean, is, yeah. is, is it's back, all the way on point. It's back on point the way it used to be. Yeah, I'll go with that. Mm-hmm. Me, man, um, we don't lost our damn mind. So I'm definitely gonna go <laughs> with mental health. Like, like, Ooh, like if, if you that's really good. speak out that's a real and, and, and open up about what's going on with you, you'll be amazed at that that who you are as a person and definitely. who you need to be as a person. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'll go with men. Great answer, Kyle. And who you need to be. And who you need to be. Mm. My answer going to start a fire, so I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> all right. That's all right. Let's move on. Respect. That's <laughs> right. Let's move it on. That brother told you now. That brother. <laughs> <laughs> the bullshit. Uh, the fire starter. Natalie, the Natalie from San Jose, California. She asked, if you weren't doing music, if music was not an option mm. at all, what do you think you would be doing right now to make a living? My ass is gonna start a fire, so I'm gonna move on. <laughs> See, I'm Friday, I, think, Friday I, think, shit. I think, I think, I think, you know, doing music allows you to not have to be able to answer that question. I don't know. Right. I really, yeah, honestly, real, don't know. I'd have thought about it before, but I yeah. really don't know. But listen, and I, I'll say this though. You know what I mean? Before music, you know, we all got our share of shit. You no, know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so right. I don't even want to imagine a world without this. Be trapped. It's probably trapped. But it's probably trapped. Keep it real. Like, but, be trapping. I don't, res- well, don't want to say that because it's almost yeah. like you glorifying. But, no, but, no, but 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 would have been trapped. No, but no, but no, no. <laughs> but see, but, but, no. What I can tell you is this though. <laughs> now, and this is Wingo. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, Wingo. I actually did inspire or aspire. What is it called? Aspire, aspire yeah. to be a teacher. Like, because I always felt like in school, 
it was it was majority women teachers. You know what I'm saying? So for the guys, it wasn't a, it wasn't enough male teachers. You know what I'm saying? Male role models. What in kind school. of class? Well, I like that. What now, kind I, of class? I'm, not, I'm just saying in, in any class, in, but I'm just saying just male role models to teach you beyond the math, the mathematics, to be a kind of father figure. Because a lot of a lot of guys, I mean, a lot of kids grew up without you know okay. single, single parent. Those kids, those kids were lit wingo ass. Oh, oh you, what you talking about? He too oh, nice. Shut your ass up. So, at the end of the Mr. day, Wingo. he was too nice to be a teacher. <laughs> I, know. I like that. Some of my most memorable lessons are from my male teachers. Right. Wow, wow, so, wow, so wow. I, and I, I just said that. I, just never, to say that. I thought about it. I never had a male teacher. I had one. He was my a, brother used to he was a weightlifter. Male teachers. Yeah. I would always have. I, lady I used teacher. to have one. His name was Mr. DePaulo. He was. But a, you had Mr. DePaulo, Mr. And Burr, Mr. Burr, Mr. Mr. Yeah, he, who, he, who was our basketball coach too. Right, you know what I'm saying? I never and, had a male teacher. And Coach Z was our basketball coach. I had him. Right. You had Coach Z. Yeah, one. That's right. And And but I mean, I agree. I mean. Even though you know we wasn't coming from the same cultural backgrounds, they definitely did give me some some pieces of information that right. I hung on strong, to. Strong, you know strong, strong, yeah, yeah. 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 See, I had him. I had a male teacher in sixth grade. His name, his name was Mr. Weaver, white dude, right? Mm. Bodybuilder, like dude, yeah, like stacked. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Apollo. Yeah, he was, he was Apollo. Definitely right, like right, like right. this tight shirt. You know what I mean? He was right. yeah. geeked. Yeah. And and you know when I get in trouble, I'm acting the ass in the class. He would literally slide my desk. All the way from the back of the class, all the way through everybody, and and, and show my cl- uh, take me outside, show me God, my right there. and slam the door. You're like, if you want to, you want to, you want to, you know, disrespect my class or disrespect all. Or the ruin your school. life like yeah, this? Yeah, like no. You know what though? I I tell you what though. I I know it's probably off topic right now, but to me, probably what's as good as the male teachers and in, in that male point of view. Is a female teacher who loved the shit out you. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That's yeah. Yeah. Like, like, I'd have had a couple yeah. of teachers who, right. like, yeah. they blatantly, like, showed me favoritism yeah. over me. Yeah. I did too. To the point where one time, this, this is a true story, right? <laughs> Was real my talk. science teacher used to let me sit my my <laughs> desk in the in, in in between the class and the outside because it was a class where the door when led to the outside. outside. So she would let me sit my yeah. my desk right there. Oh, yeah. everybody. So one day I get to class late. And my homeboy Eric Kilgore, I don't mind saying his name. That's my homie. He tried my to do that shit. Eric he, Kilgore, working at Blue Flame. He tried to put, he tried to put his desk in, and she wrote that nigga up and sent him to the principal <laughs> office. See, as soon as he left, I put my desk right back yeah, where. Look, look, if, look, I was, if I was Eric, my mama would have been up there in all y'all lads. Look, look, look I'm telling you, it's crazy. Like that. <laughs> I'm saying it was crazy. <laughs> like that, the same bro. teacher he had, I had the same teacher, and she would let me do the same thing. I'm th- what's funny is I didn't realize she was treating him like that till we had a conversation. She and the same bro, I'm thinking it's just me. Yeah, then I find out she doing it. him like that too. You know what I'm saying? Up, but no, Miss Zaya, she was the coolest man. Yeah. I used to sit my, I'm so especially once the, war, the weather got warm, I'd be out there the whole class and then yeah. the sun just, you know what I mean? I ain't even turning no homework assignments in her class, yeah, bro. Big she just let me do what I wanted. Sometimes, sometimes I'd be in there taking shit too far, <laughs> thinking she gonna get mad. She'd say some shit like, Ain't he so cute, y'all? <laughs> Ain't he so witty, y'all? Oh, <laughs> like, man, this lady <laughs> loved me. <laughs> so I'm check this idea. out. What's up, bro? Everybody got to answer this one. Give me two songs on your playlist that mm. nobody would ever expect you would listen to. Damn. Mm. That would be on your playlist. I'm telling you, or like just give me right. one. Give me I'm, one. I'm, 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 I'm going to give you two like you asked. Okay. okay. Like you asked, boy. Come here reneging and shit, DJ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn. Rhinestone Cowboy. Like a rhinestone cowboy. That shit be jamming. You hear me? Gets me going in the morning. You know what I'm talking Gets about? Gets me going okay. in the morning. Okay. And, and, uh, and, and my other, my number two big dog used to play this on the bus. And it, it drove me. I, I, I don't know what it was when I was a little kid to hear this song. And he used to take me to a, just this soft place of a world far beyond. <laughs> Kermit the Frog. <laughs> The it's love. not easy being no, 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 no. The lovers. Oh. The dre- <laughs> dreamers and me. <laughs> fa la 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 la. Nah, you, got, you got the good oh. gas, don't you? Wait, I'm telling you. People me, think. I know Um, I got a lot of stuff on my playlist y'all, would, y'all you. wouldn't think I listen to. But um, uh-huh. you know what song I used to love a few years ago? What's that, Doggy? That Singing Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. That was my shit. Oh, yeah, that's, that's yeah, it. How'd it go? How'd it go? Oh. People fall in love with mysterious yeah. way. Yeah. Maybe it's all part of the play. Oh. You know that song, that's man. I'll yeah, probably you know Baby, I... Uh, oh me, yeah, yeah, yeah! I like that. I like for that. me, um, and Brandon also turned 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 me on to this record as well. Um, that Cree Summer Man, 
Wow. I'm gonna take my record. I'm telling you. You know I was gonna take it too. I'll you know I was gonna record, take though. it. Hey. Go. That hey. fucked up, dog. <laughs> Chris Summers. Uh, oh no, no, fuck that. That fucked up. No, that Brian got that record. <laughs> that man, right. We just had this conversation. I said I'm gonna pick that. <laughs> and he took my record, man. Fast. What kind of shit is this, man? Fast, Jack. <laughs> Chris Summers, uh Chris Summers from a different world. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. hard. Oh my god. Freddie, Freddie. Oh, hey. Lenny Kravis did yeah. a I had a crush on Freddie. Did a project. I had a crush on her. Dope. Yeah, 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 the project really, really dope. Brian, yeah. can you find a replacement since Wingo just robbed you like that? <laughs> um, it's um, it's this this soundtrack movie I I listened to of the score. It's called uh, Coco and a Boy, mm. um, and it, and it's just it's just violins and you know what I mean, and it's crazy. And another um, because I I just love the way string sounds. It's another group too called Black Violin, and they they you know what I mean. Most people don't know them, but they really dope. It's a black group, but they don't, they they whole music is comprised of different strings and violins oh, hey, and, and cellos and, sons, and all kind of you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, I love Mumford. Mumford and Sons, that man. Dope. That Listen, sounds dope. Man. This shit, like sometimes, like yeah, no, the, one of the songs that made me love this, uh, love their music was, um, I think it's called Little Lion Man, and the way that them fucking guitars is moving, it just it remind me of like. Some slaves running through the woods for Hot freedom, damn. like, like for real. That's how it's like, wow. and it's like, that's what drew me to them. But when I started listening, like these dudes is some is some dope. musicians, like yeah, some yeah. dope musicians. Yeah, yeah. Last one in this wild cow before we get up. That's right. Um, and this, even though it's your, they say Brian and Brandon. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You say what? They say a Brian and Brandon. This? That's what they want to know about, brother. The fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is wild cow. <laughs> Oh, they asking you about Brian and Brad. This, this, is, this is from Lisette from Aurora. Lisette from Aurora. Brian and Brandon, have you ever dealt with jealousy from your significant other due to the closeness of having a twin? She says, my sister husband, my sister's husband hates our relationship and does his best to try to ruin our bond. Wow. See, we good. You know, we are all men. So it's never like we I don't think. It's ever been to the point like we got lost in our relationship because we are own men. You know what I mean? Like we we spend a lot of time together, of course, but it's never been to the point where, you know, even on our free time, we we choosing our, each other over our girls. It's you know, it's never been like that. Right. I mean, I think some things. I mean, well, first off, I have had women jealous about my relationship with with, with them. Mm -hmm. You know, right. like even yeah, even I the mean, scene yeah. in How to yeah. Fix right. It, right. we all have probably been through that. Are you always with them? Are you right, you know? Right. right, right. Yeah. So I've had that. Um, but I have also had, you know, like, like you said, I mean, when it comes to us, we, we didn't spend 95% of our life together. together you know what I mean? Like our first solos was together. Our first sports teams were together. We our first wins, losses was together. Wow. Our first, you know, everything. Uh, we, we even entered a recitation contest when we was young. And, won and we bitch. won that shit, like nationwide. <laughs> and we, and, wow. I mean, not nationwide, statewide in Connecticut. Right. Um, so... It's just so many things that spelling. I mean, everything we've done together, and we we never really ever placed too far from each other. He might be first, I might be third, I might be second, he might be whatever it is, right? So right. we didn't spend so much of our life together. When we get home, we don't we don't see each other that much. It's yeah. like I'm with you all the time. When we all home time, and we yeah. off of the road, we, he do his thing, I do my That's thing. That's how We might get together to go out some, but outside that, you know. What I mean? Colin Wingo, any jealousy of that from being in the group? Because obviously this requires. I've been jealous of Wingo. I've always no, yeah. he's not, he's not talking about that. He said, I know, I'm he said with the twins, <laughs> but I've always looked at the twins like I just. After being being around us for so long, I've always looked at it as you know it's it's really a gift because it's like uh, it's right. it's like a friendly competition and right. when they're brothers, so it's brotherly competition. But you feel what I'm saying, like you know, and I, I'm not trying to outdo you to overshine right. you, right. but I'm but like you know, because you can't lose. If, right. if, you, you can't if I lose, if I right. lose and he win, I still won. You, still you know won. what I'm saying? Right. I can't really lose. But you know what? It's <laughs> funny because that dynamic is what is what helps make our music so exactly. consistent. Right. Exactly. Right. Like. Right. No, when when he when when he go in the studio and he come out with something I'm like that, okay. Not only am I am I gonna get on that and fuck that up too, right. but I'm gonna start I'm another song. Start another I'm gonna send him <laughs> one after that. So, <laughs> so, 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 so there's your gift. You see what I'm saying? Like that's that's really how I've, I've always looked at it. Hey, man, hey, 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 and 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 to add to, to what the guy said, we just did a session. You know, we doing the uh, the the, the, the Jagged Jag Duets. Duets yeah, but, yeah. And um, I look at a lot of young artists because you know Brandon Brown, they are the core writer. They are the geniuses of. Jagged is right. And um Genius. so so Genius. so so when I walk in the room, you know what I'm saying, when when Jonathan be there because you know he's putting this project together with different artists, I notice 
that's their first time working with us. So they don't know how we work. Mm -hmm. And so, like you say, when Brian be in there, I'm be like, yeah. And, and I'm, not, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm be like, yeah, y'all nigga. Watch this. You know what I'm saying? Because Brandon go come and he go do it, and then Brian go clean up. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not being funny. Just, just no, keeping no, it real. Be, process. Be, because he knows our process. How, 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 and, how, how, and, and, and he know, like, you know what I mean? Like, how they going. Have you ever told going one of them, niggas, like, watch this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch this shit, nigga. But, 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 I mean, I have seen them work through the years, too. I'm like, I can't wait to hear what Brian go put on it. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to hear what Brandon go put on it. Uh, I, I already know how Wingo go next because Wingo's a power singer. But, but you know, and plus Wingo be there all the time. One thing we can say about Wingo, he yeah. he, he got the gold he star. Prays. I'm gonna get there. He prays. He's always. gonna be on, on time. Always. I be trying to be late and be on time. Years. Yeah, for 20 some years. Yeah, but you know I be trying I mean. to be late and be on time, man. But um, hey, man, let me tell y'all something, man. This show was awesome tonight, man. Yes, it was. We've, man. Gotten, a, we've gotten a lot of great. Um, interaction, man, with, with each other, man. A lot of great topics, a lot of hot right, topics. Right, right. You know what hot, I mean? Hot, hot, but, yeah, hot, hot, but hot butter topics. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like hot butter popcorn. You hear me? So sizzling. I'm, I'm telling you, man. So you know, this is great for for our fans. It's right. great for people in general. Great you know, for us. Because, yeah, great for us. No doubt, no doubt. Great for jagged edge. Mm -hmm. Awesome therapy. You know what I'm saying? So again, we just want to thank everybody, man, for tuning in to Views from the Edge. Make sure y'all go get any project that jagged edge, jagged edge has ever put out. That's right. T Ten yeah. albums. Now you know that's what I'm right. Get ready for album number eleven. It's, it, it'll be entitled the Jagged Duets. And um, like I say, man, just all follow us, man, on our Instagram page, man. Our official Instagram page, is official underscore je. But y'all already know our own tags and all that. But we love y'all, man. We want to thank y'all for every week for tuning in. Right, like he said, go check out the new projects. Um, Layover before Jagged Love Story. Yes, sir. Um, Jagged Duets coming. Yes, sir. Um, four new videos. If you ain't seen nothing from the from the video side of it, exactly. Um, we get ready to shoot another one in a couple weeks. So we are gonna keep it coming. You know what I mean? We appreciate the support. Yes. We appreciate y'all helping us to chart this podcast yeah. already. Yeah. The whole nine. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All praises to the Most High. Yes. Period. All, All, All praises. Time. Oh, yes, hey, and to y'all, man. Listen, man. We when we put this new album when we put this new duets album out. Y'all gotta show y'all love, man. You got Go get to. that thing because not only is it our eleventh album, but it's the first time we ever even worked with this many people. Exactly. Right. So you know what I mean. We gotta pay these people. I'm you know telling. I'm mean? telling. You gotta show show your love. <laughs> show your love. Black owned business, y'all. We love y'all to death. Views from the edge, and we out. Boom. Love y'all.